Today I'm going to show you guys how to export your blender models with color, textures and everything into your Unity games. To get started we're going to first off have our model that we've already made. You guys should do that first if you haven't done it already. And then we're going to click on it to make sure it's selected. Then we're going to go file, export and as an FBX. We're going to export this so we can import it into our Unity game. Now we're going to select a folder to export it to. Once you found a place to export it to, make sure you select selected objects and press export. The next thing we have to do is go to UV editing at the top of our blender and we're gonna go and make sure that we're on our texture our main texture then we're gonna go on image and press save as and we're gonna save it to the same place that we just saved our last thing now we're gonna set it to our normal and we're gonna go to image and do the same thing then we're gonna go to our roughness and do the exact same thing once again once you've got everything downloaded click on your FBX file and we're gonna drag it in to our assets now let's drag it into our game you might notice that there's no colors or textures or anything but that's because we haven't put them in yet so let's open our folder and let's grab these and put them in. Make sure if you click on your normal, which is the purple one, and you go to texture type, it's selected on normal map. That's very important for it to work. Now we've got a cube and it looks pretty nice with our textures and our normal. However, you might have noticed that our roughness map isn't being used yet. So if you want to use it, we're going to have to right click in our assets and create a new material. Now on our new material, we're going to drag everything that we've downloaded in. So our first with our texture, we're going to drag that in as our base map. Then our normal is going to go in for the normal map. And and our roughness is going to go in for the height map. Um, now we can drag this new material onto our cube. And you're going to see that our height map is actually working now. Alright guys, adios.